I bet that your browser console messages are pretty boring and pretty mundane. There is nothing more exciting about them. Hey guys, my name is Rahul Aire and in this short video, we are going to see how can you make your browser console messages more appealing just like what we have seen in the thumbnail. So let's get started with VS Code. So as you can see, I have in my VS Code, I've already made a and folder and made a index.html file. So what I really need is, I really need this index.html file and this emit. It will really make this uh, boilerplate code. And what we really now need is to really rename this, let's say, uh, fancy console uh, console log. Okay. And then for the formality sake, what we'll do is we'll take this as, we'll do is hello. It's like, hello world okay and then right now what we really need is we need to do a script tag what we need is let's say console log uh, console log in bracket let's say uh, it's awesome right it's awesome and without emoji our job isn't really ain't complete okay okay let's straighten this up and let's open this in the port 5000 okay I already opened this seems I've already opened that one. Let me open this one first. Okay, local host. Okay, so as you can see here. Okay, there's nothing more fancy. Now the really important fact is. So if you come over here, what you really need to do is we just take this as and percent in this uh, back ticks, let's say within and percent C. Uh, actually, I have seen this on Stack Overflow. I'll mention this article uh, on Stack Overflow answer on the link in the description. So what you need is this basic font size, basic CSS properties, font size to 50, 50, plus 50 pixels and then color to yellow. Yellow. And what we need to see, can see is right now, yeah, we have seen this. And, and the most important thing is that you can also console log images. That's the best part of this one. So what if I'm gonna do is I'll come over here, I'll go for pixels and I'll search for any female one, female photo, okay? Okay, what we need is, hmm. okay, let's come down to the one, let's come down over here. Uh, I think anyone would really be fine. Let's use this one. Copy image address. And then what we do is we'll come over here. Now instead what you need to do is we'll again do the same thing. But the difference right now is console.log uh, is really like let's say you need to keep this let's say and percent and then this couple of tabs. Let's say one, two, three. Okay. And then let's try to do this as property like background image G R O U N D background image to let's say U R L U R L in bracket. Let's see what we just do this one. Okay, let's see if, uh, whether we are succeeded or not. Okay, as you can see, this there is one here. But what we really need now is instead of height the height will not work here what we need to do is we'll use the font size font as let's say font size as i said e to let's say 200 pixels okay and then if you come over here ah, yeah what you can see and the most important thing is you can make it even responsive like what you can do is if you come over here let's say background background size size to cover cover and background uh, b a c k g r o u n d background uh, position to center okay and let's try to check this one okay so as you can see if you come over here uh, oh, you can see it has been responsive right i think uh, we need to give some more taps okay we'll come over here oh uh, yeah but I think in the production, you should use raw HTML elements. That's what it will give you the most enticing effect. Yeah. So as you can see here, it's stretching a bit more fancier. You can see this is an easy responsive images. Now there is only one caution that 
To console log the images, this feature will only work in Chrome based browser like uh, Chrome, Chromium, Microsoft Edge. I've tried it in, in really like Mozilla, but it didn't really work. Uh, it only worked this for uh, its awesome. It only works for custom font styling, but it didn't work for consoling lock of images. So there you go. This is what we have in the short demo tutorial. Uh, if you want to really use it in your project, just go and use it out. By then, if you have any questions, queries, comments, any ideas, or any sort of suggestions, just leave it down in the comment box below and I'll be happy to get back to you. Till then, stay connected, stay subscribed, which is more important, and I'll see you next time.